Good afternoon, Needs and Wages. I was planning on releasing new videos maybe every Tuesday, but got a little too busy this week. Got stuck in my wage cage. <laughs> didn't have time to upload my new apps on. I actually recorded on Tuesday, but then I didn't like how it turned out, so I updated it yesterday. I'm considering maybe setting up a Patreon sometime, so I can give the Patreon members a preview of the wraps and maybe you can comment on it, maybe change a few parts, modify it, or maybe you can choose what kind of theme I want to do. I have one coming up, it's about, <laughs> it's programming related. Today's topic is about needs in general. Star Wars, the internet. Back in the early 90s, it's still not widely accessible. More and more coverage in the early 2000s. And well, the problem is the internet. It doesn't actually expand your horizon because in the, in the very beginning, you go on a website and you get to see all, all kinds of cool stuff so you've never seen before. But now it gets to a point where the internet already has almost everything. You can just pick what you want to see. For example, with those social media algorithms like Facebook, maybe TikTok, so you recommend wh whatever you want to see and you keep seeing more and more of it. Same thing happens with YouTube. So you actually get stuck in your very very small community and if you don't go out of your way to maybe search for new stuff you continue to go on in this closed loop cycle you're just validating each other's ideas as time goes on you would be hanging out with more and more people who you're agreeing with and that could be a real problem maybe neuroticism is also something wrong with needs because if you have a habit of overthinking so that could cause maybe some anxiety problems because if you just think too much about, for example, if you go to the supermarket and if something gives you a weird look, so, well, maybe they're just messing with you. <laughs> but but if you overthink it, and you, you might think there's maybe something wrong with you, or maybe everybody thinks that way. And I've seen all of Comfy Needs videos, and some of the videos, it's not really a problem. He's overthinking every scenario, overthinking all the situations where he perceived other people to not welcome him. You know, sometimes it's better to ignore other people's feelings and do whatever you want. And sometimes it's better to take the flu pill because if you're fully aware of your surroundings at all times, and it might be sensory overload. You get too much information all at once and so you don't know how to handle it. Maybe that's what caused people to get anxiety attacks. As for all the mental health issues like anxiety, depression, yes, you just gotta find a way to not overthink things, try to move on the right track in your own way. For example, if you are easily become anxious, and maybe you, you could try to reduce some of the environmental factors. But take depression, for example. Some people would go to video games or watching TV. The problem is both type of activities, eventually watching more TV or playing more video games I may not help you anymore and you're going to feel more depressed and more lonely. It's actually better to maybe get into some sort of arts and crafts, maybe do some drawings, make some music, do something productive and not playing video games or just consuming TV or internet content. Because if, if you just actually take small steps into something you find it interesting, for example, if you want to start learning how to play the piano, maybe you can just take small steps and learn maybe a simple song at first and moving to more complex things as a way of coping. That's much better than playing video games because you, you actually learn something in the process and once you finish the small steps, it can help you feel a sense of achievement. It's not that useful, but you're still learning something, you're not just wasting your time. If you think work is meaningless, well, if you break down everything into small enough chunks, and I guess you could argue anything is meaningless. W what exactly is meaningful? Is playing video games meaningful? Is watching TV meaningful? If you really want to find meaning, then maybe you have to <laughs> take some DMT, <laughs> take some mushrooms, have some sort of a extraterrestrial experience so maybe you can answer the meaning of life but until that happens you just have to carry on every day take webmd for example if you look up the definition of cancer or any other illness so you could easily match some symptoms and that's but that doesn't mean you actually have the illness it just means well, maybe the symptoms are so general, or maybe the condition is so overly diagnosed, so it just all becomes meaningless. It's important to not justify your feelings or actions, 
based on the self-diagnosed conditions because that could easily become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So if you think you have anxiety and maybe you go out of your way to avoid social contacts and maybe over time you actually become bad at talking to people and so you just continue to stuck in this cycle of not being able to communicate. But if you just go out of your comfort zone, try new things, you don't have to try new things, maybe do things differently, be more proactive in conversations. I heard about this guy with ADHD on the, on the Dr. Granda YouTube channel. The, the man likes to check if the doors are locked. And it's not like you check maybe once or twice because you're paranoid. So I would spend not even minutes, sometimes half an hour, sometimes an hour checking if the doors are locked. He actually works in a restaurant. Even after starting his shift in the restaurant, he would just have to check on his car during his breaks or maybe every an hour or two just to make sure his doors are locked. It's a huge waste of time because he spends hours every day obsessing over things like if the doors are locked, if appliances are turned off. That's not entirely his fault because even though his co-workers and his parents tried in their way to help him stop his obsessive impulsive behavior, he didn't go far enough. For example, if he has a hard time leaving home because you have to check every single outlet to make sure all the appliances are turned off, Eventually, his parents would tell him to get out of the house, go to work. But why can't he just do that in the very beginning? Why, why does he have to wait until maybe 15, 30 minutes have passed and lots of time have been wasted for them to take some of the start of action? Maybe they could just do it early. Well, maybe his parents and his co-workers are fighting with their own problems. But I guess the point is, maybe it's helpful to take a few minutes out of your day to help someone else to provide some constructive criticism. Because what that guy did in that example was very unhealthy and a huge waste of time. And I think he actually messed up his teeth because he would brush his teeth for half an hour, an hour. He brushes his teeth once every week because he knows he would just spend lots of time checking if he fully brushed every single tooth and that's really bad for enamel. Maybe I'm going a little bit off topic here, but it helps if you take a little bit of time out of your day to provide some constructive criticism to someone else. That's like that movie, Pay It Forward. You don't have to do something big, maybe just a little bit at a time. Another point I would like to make is real friends should provide constructive criticism. Obviously, if you don't provide constructive criticism, you criticize someone over something trivial, that's not good, but constructive criticism will really help you to see what's wrong with you. If you're always doing a certain thing one way, and maybe you think that's how it's always been done. If someone else comes in with a different perspective, since that could really help you. And now I'm going to do a small update on myself. So as you can see here, I got a Mac Mini just for editing videos because I was using Shotcut before, I just didn't really like the interface. And I also got a DJI Nemo. It's to stabilize the phone so the video won't be very shaky. Still learning how to get perform optimally. So I also got some props like this uh, Nerf gun here. That would probably show up in more of the videos. And if you have any comments, suggestions, let me know. And maybe I'll respond to you, or maybe not.